What's going on, my people? I hope everybody doing good, man. Staying blessed. Um, you know, this month of February, um, we're going to be dropping some safety, safety videos. Um, some videos I hope that you can use on your way into trucking, right? So, today's video, we're going to talk about the five keys to... Um, to safe driving right and then you guys might know it as the smith system and it's, to me it's not about <clears throat> it's not about memorizing these keys it's all about putting it to practice on a daily basis and i'm gonna um we're gonna talk about the five keys and we're gonna talk about how i use it every single day um when i drive you know what i'm saying because <clears throat> i know a lot of new truck drivers are coming into the industry and you know when they usually watch trucking videos they just hear um drivers talk about the money and talk about this talk about that but nobody really talks about the dangers of trucking um, you can really lose your life out here if you're not um, careful. So let's go over the five keys of the Smith systems. <clears throat> you know, an easy way to remember these keys is just to remember the letters A, G, K, L, and M. Okay. So key number one, aim high and steering. Right. <clears throat> Look 15 seconds ahead when you're driving, meaning that you have to like just aim high and steering, you know, like hold your steering wheel and look ahead and make sure you, you're you seeing what you're doing, you know, don't don't be crouched back in the truck seat like you're driving a car, you gotta be professionals out here guys, you know, um, number two, you gotta get the big picture, you gotta keep your eyes moving and um, look for hazards and stuff like that. And I ain't gonna lie, I always get number two and number three mixed up. Cause number three is keep your eyes moving, right? <clears throat> and what that means is um when you're driving, you cannot like get locked in on a particular object, right? Let's just say you're on South Beach, right? I'm gonna use South Beach. And you're driving and you're looking ahead and all the truck drivers that have been in South Beach, your eyes is easily locked in on a particular object. So you're looking ahead and you're like, you just, but you got to remember you're, 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 you're driving a truck. You cannot stare too long. You got to keep your eyes moving. You got to get the big picture and you got to keep your eyes moving. You know what I'm saying? It should not be no favorite key in trucking. But the next one is my personal favorite key, and that's leave yourself an out. I believe in this, right? You got to monitor the space cushion around you. You got to monitor the space. Yo, so many truck drivers I see driving, and um, it's like they're right up under the car. And it's like, I'm thinking to myself, like, yo. Does these drivers don't know that these trucks are hard to stop? You know what I mean? Like, the way I drive, um, I make sure that I leave distance. It's distance. It's distance between me and the car that's in front of, in front of me. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a, it's a rule for how much distance you should have between the car that's in front of you. I'm not sure how much seconds right now. I'm gonna um I'm gonna um do that in another video. But I know it's distance between you and the car that's in front of you. And the um the last key to safe driving is um make sure they see you man, you know? Make sure they see you. Especially let's just say you had a four way stop sign. And um, you're there first, and um, but like a car pull up like seconds 
like one second after you did. You know you got to go first, but your eyes are locked in on that driver over there, and they're probably jamming out to some music. They 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 didn't even look at you yet, right? So what do you do? You just stop, let them go. You know what I mean, you gotta let them go. Um, you know, most people that drive cars, is they got this thing where they don't really care about trucks like that. They don't really care about truck drivers. Like, when I work on Saturday morning, one thing I noticed that one of the most dangerous times on the weekends to drive a truck is between 2.30 a.m. to 5 a.m. It seems like everybody's coming from somewhere with alcohol and beverage in their system. And people are just driving reckless, driving fast, speeding out there, stuff like that. You know what I mean? So you gotta, you got to, um, so you gotta do your job, um, and stay cautious of, of the, um, where you drive, even at night time. You gotta, you gotta, one, one big thing, I'm gonna tell all truck drivers, right? If you do mostly night driving, and, um, I'm gonna do another video on this also. And for some reason, it's like, signs that are ahead of you, starting to look blurry, stuff like that. Man, just get your eyes checked. Maybe you might need some glasses, you never know. You know what I mean? You got to truck it safe out there. You know what I mean? The, I, remember the one, I remember one time I got in an accident. I was on I-95. I was just driving by my own business, right? I'm driving a semi truck, people. All of a sudden, <laughs> I feel like a loud impact in the back of my truck. Boom. And it, it pushed me. It was a good thing I had my um, seatbelt on. If I didn't have my seatbelt on, my head would have went in the windshield. And then I looked in the rear view mirror and I seen like a little car fold up like that. I was, I was still confused. I'm like, because I'm thinking to myself, like, why would he speed in the back of my truck like that? So I started to slow down and I pulled over. I'm still confused. I don't know what happened. Cause I, there's no way a car going to drive in the back of a truck, right? So I pulled over and um, I remember this. Southeastern driver, he pulled over and he was like, yo, bro, you okay? I'm like, I'm good, bro. And he was like, yeah, man, he been speeding and driving crazy. Um, I followed him for miles. I was trying to get, um, call highway patrol and get their, um, get their attention. I knew he was going to hit somebody. And <laughs> the, 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 um, the Southeastern guy was like, you know what though? I'm 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 glad he hit you. Because if he didn't hit you, he could have killed somebody in a car. Meaning that you track the trailer is so powerful that maybe maybe my truck that night saved somebody's life. You know what I mean? Because of course I walked away with no scratch. He gotta be when I talked to the um highway patrol say so he got to be going over 100 miles an hour um and like i just got up dust myself back off and went back to work but these are just some of the the um things that we got to deal with driving at night there, there's not enough highway patrols for these drunk drivers out here it's just not enough and they can't be everywhere at one time. So you got to recognize them. Um, try your best to get away from them. You know what I mean? You got you to gotta look out for dangers out here, people. Because as much as you're going to hear um, truck drivers come on YouTube, talk about trucking, talk about this, talk about that, talk about making money and trucking and stuff like that. 
not a lot of people talk about the dangers of trucking. Um, it's a very dangerous industry. You know what I mean? Even the equipment itself. Just imagine, um, if you're getting out of your truck and you're not making that three-point contact that you need to make, once you're getting out of that truck, you can... <laughs> I had this happen to me. You can bust your ass just by coming out the truck the wrong way. You could, you could, you can get seriously injured just by coming out the truck the wrong way. You can try to climb in the back of your trailer and slip and fall, and bust your ass. In food service, people, I've known people that fell off the back of the truck, people that fell off the ramp. Um. Feet got ran over by the um, pump jack. It's just, we gonna make this month a safety month. So <clears throat> we gonna drop some videos on how you can stay safe out here. One of the, um, one of the biggest key to me in trucking is, um, Just avoiding preventable, avoiding preventable accident. If it's preventable, you need to avoid it. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> if you guys have any um comments or questions about this video, um, just just make sure to jot it down. We're going to break it down all, going to break it down this month, you know, that's my agenda, that's going to be our agenda, so, y'all take it easy out there, make sure y'all have a good day, make sure um, to remember the five keys to save trucking, aim high, get the big picture, keep your eyes moving, leave yourself an out, make sure they see you, that will help you guys.